Hey everyone, so I'll be covering uh, the data processing part of the uh, PPK story using cost net focus in PlayStation for the using the rich RS2 MDT uh, GPS. Yeah, so after collecting the data on the field and downloaded the data, you expected the uh, CSV file for the PPK data. You know, for the PPK data, you don't need to use the, um, you don't need to use the, um, you don't need to use the, uh, you don't need to use the call station. You only need to use a single uh, receiver to collect data, and you don't care if it's fixed because it's definitely not going to be fixed. It's going to be single, uh, the solution, and after which it's going to be post processed, as it's called PPK post process kinematic. So a uh, quick rundown, I have collected data on the uh, field and I have my folder named uh, MDTutor and this is the data collected on the field, PPK data. As you can see, solution is showing single and this is the data. These are uncorrected coordinates of station 1, 2, 3, 4 collected on the field and I have my uh, the raw data, dryness raw data file downloaded from the GPS uh, receiver, so which I can extract here. You can see it contains some file which will be used for the processing and yeah let's go into it so the first thing we need to do we need to uh, go to this uh, link to download uh, the um, to download the uh, base station data because this will be using calls yeah so uh, data collection date was today and I have my start time set down zero and uh, duration let me say 20 hours depends on the when did you start the observation and when did you end your uh, your advice to like put a timing that covers entirely your time of observation so I just entered 20 hours so but then it was done much more in the afternoon so it's fine okay you need to pick a site ID this is like a location where uh, the course uh, is located the course base station is located so uh, you can click on the course map, you can see for different parts of the United States, San Antonio, you can see Texas, just look at it and you see which is the closest to you. But for my case, uh, the data was collected in Purdue campus, which is in Lafayette area and West Lafayette. So I can see I'm going to use INW Health. So here, I'm going to enter INW Health here on my list, INW Health, INW Health, INW Health. Yeah, so I'm going to select the, the available satellites, map those, and just click get call data. So this is going to take some time to download because it's going to be for 20 hours of observation on the base station. So um, while that is downloading, so we need to get the MDT Pro software for processing. So you can click on this link. This is the MDT website and you can want to get the software, feel free to download the Windows version or the Mac OS version. So when you download that, you install it and yeah, that's what we need for data processing. Uh, yeah, I have it installed already. I think the latest version as of today is 1.5, and I have that installed already on my uh, machine. And yeah, the data is downloaded. I can as well just cut this data, go to any tutor, then paste my data here, and I can as well extract this data here yeah, I have my base data and I have my rover data right here now let's do the PPK uh, solution processing yeah so uh, I'll go to launch my MD studio software this is my MD studio software it's a powerful software created by the uh, makers of rich RS GPS it has different kinds of processing if you collected your data in kinematic mode start mode drone data Stop and go, and it can also be used to convert your GPS data to RINES file format, which is like a popular file format used by most softwares. So yeah, I'll be using the stop and go with MD Flow, and I need to load up my robot data, which is here, and I'll select this. Then I'm going to select my base 
about data, which is also here. And it's going to load up the coordinate of the base station of the location where the um, where the call station is located, which is this. Then the navigation here is just like a location where you want the file to be selected. Feel free to file to be located, file to be saved when you process. Feel free to choose either the rover or the base. I'll be choosing the rover for my case. And here, then hit process. So this is going to take some time, depends on your size of your data that you're processing. So I guess I have just four points, so it should not take so much. Yeah, it's done. You can see, you can see here it has lots of points, and this was due to the fact that uh, while collecting data on the receiver, I set the login to one second, so it's keep collecting data every one second. You can see it's claimed that I walked three points, three kilometers just around the field to collect data just for four stations. You can see it fixed 67% of my collected data and 23.1 were floating and single were 9.9. .9. So we only focus on the uh, fixed, you can see the green ones and the orange ones are the floats and the red ones are the single, meaning they could not be really resolved. So yeah, the next thing we need to do is to load up the uncorrected EPK coordinates. Now we want to correct them. So we go to the file where I have the uh, EPK coordinates, I click open, it's loaded here. Now it's asking me which data quality do I want. Is it do I want my data to be fixed or do I want, I don't care, do I want just floats, do I want single? I think for our application, we want a precise data, a, a, an accurate data set. So we, I'm going to choose fix here, then I'm going to click on start. So it's done correcting. So you can see I have fixed four points out of four. It means it's soft four out of four. Perfect. You can see 100% fixed. All of my points are fixed. And you can see here I used, I had a lot of points and I had 229 plus 79 plus 34. It's a lot of points. But here I have four fixed, uh, which is done. And here is my data. And you can see four points here, you can click on show results file to see the data corrected. Here to correct the data and yeah, you can see it's, this is the long, good to the light to coordinate and the height. You can see the RMS value, they're quite okay in for the eastern and the northern coordinates. They are in millimeters, they are millimeters, which is okay. And for the heights, I think it's in centimeter accuracy, which is also fine. You can see fixed, no more single from the first one we did, or the first one we checked. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's how you um, do your PPK data processing when you use just a single uh, unit and you use your base station as the uh, call station and you do post-processing after your data collection. Yeah, thank you for listening.